Starting with the biggest change on any iPhone for the last couple of years has to be USB-C. Thanks to the pressure from European Union, Apple is finally putting USB-C on the iPhone 15 series, forever killing and replacing their outdated lightning port from 2012. With USB-C, we're going to see faster charging along with faster data transfer speeds for the iPhone 15 Pro lineup. Next up, Apple is replacing their legendary mute switch for a proper action button. This action button will unlock a range of different functions across the board and it's set to work hand in hand with the shortcuts application. Next up we have a major camera upgrade to the telephoto sensor of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Yes, for the first time we're getting a proper periscope zoom on Apple's biggest and the most pricey iPhone. In addition to that, we're also getting high resolution zoom as well as high resolution ultra wide angle sensor again exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pro series. Moving on, Apple is completely killing the 12 megapixel main camera sensor. They're actually going full 48 megapixel on all of the iPhone 15 models. Yes, we are indeed getting Apple's best 48 megapixel main camera sensor on every single iPhone 15 unit. Speaking of common changes, we're getting dynamic island on all iPhone models, meaning the notch design is finally being killed off. Moving on, we're going to see the latest generation OLED display from Samsung, of course, exclusive for the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max. It's going to be a brighter and more efficient OLED display. Moving on to another iPhone 15 Pro exclusive feature, which is going to be the new titanium frame. Because of this, the iPhone 15 Pro lineup is set to be 10% lighter than the 14 Pro series while having a bigger battery on board. This is a much needed change considering how heavy the iPhones have started to get in recent times. Speaking of battery, we're going to see Apple's biggest battery upgrade across all the iPhone models ever compared to previous generation, which means we're possibly going to see the best 2023 flagship battery performance with these new iPhones. And of course, this will be thanks to Apple A17 chip, making the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max world's first smartphones to ship with a three nanometer chip. This will be the most power efficient as well as the highest performing chips on any smartphone on the market. Literally every single smartphone other than the iPhone 15 Pro lineup will be using a 4 nanometer chip, so this is a pretty Apple exclusive flex. Next up, we have the highest storage on any iPhone lineup ever. Yes, we could see up to 2 terabyte of storage on the iPhone 15 Pro series. Considering the iCloud storage options that Apple offers, the 2 terabyte storage might not be a very good deal, even for the pros out there. And Last but not the least, we're going to see iOS 17 on the iPhone 15 lineup. This new version of iOS brings range of exciting features such as standby mode, interactive widgets, live voicemail, posters for your contacts, name drop, and much more features. Apart from the features, I am really looking forward towards a more stable iOS experience, which is something that was missing when Apple launched the iOS 16 with the iPhone 14 series last year. Hopefully, we won't see as many bugs that we have seen with the previous generation so iOS 17 should be completely baked and ready for the iPhone 15 lineup to deliver the absolute best experience. That's all for this video. Let me know which one is your favorite feature in the comment section below. Subscribe for all the latest coverage. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.